what's going on guys welcome to the team 69 and crew channel today I'm going to be bringing you some uh, GTA next gen gameplay um, at the minute I'm currently playing as Trevor I've played about an hour of this so far maybe a little bit longer done a bit of the story a little bit of online see what it's like um, but I'm going to do some uh, Trevor missions um, entirely in first person view I'm actually loving the first person view on this I'm not going to lie it's amazing um, it's a bit tricky to get used to actually um, because obviously GTA you you're quite used to playing it in third person so the whole change to the first person is it's really good but it takes a lot of getting used to but uh, so yeah I'm gonna try and do I'm currently doing the uh, Merryweather heist or trying to start up the parts for the Merryweather heist for Trevor so uh, I think at the minute I need to go and find either the submarine or the cargo box I've, I've decided to do the offshore one instead of blow the uh, cargo bob up uh, cargo bob cargo ship um, yeah so uh, I think if I find where should I go first? Cargo Bob or Mini Sub? Probably the Mini Sub. Just so you know as well, this is a, a unedited stream, so whatever happens happens. If I fail a lot, then you can laugh. So you know, just so, just so you know, it's not edited. <laughs> I was going to let it go, and what happens happens. So uh, yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, this is the the first person view in um, currently Trevor's perspective in his truck. I do like the truck in this. It's a bit. It's definitely Trevor. It's it's covered in well used condoms and <laughs> it's got different pictures with different related stuff. Quite a few uh, little random notes that you wouldn't want passengers seeing. <laughs> well, then again, you wouldn't have it hung up in an open top car, would you really? But uh, but yeah, so it, it's it's quite good getting used to the uh, first person. Like I said, the driving's really good. I've done a bit of the flying. I've I've crashed that a few times in a few planes. Decided my first attempt to be in a Titan didn't end too well. As you can imagine. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. So we'll go. I think it's what is it? Two miles. So, uh, so yeah. See, so like, it's just um, if I do go quiet when I'm talking, it's obviously like I say, it's because it's live. I'm not going to keep talking because I was going to just chat about random crap like I'm doing now. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. Uh, let's go down here. Oh. Pedestrians, sorry. <laughs> okay, one thing I do find is is quite strange. Obviously, it's quite a good effect, but when you put uh, Trevor's full lights on his truck, the windscreen goes really tinted green. And I thought it was my TV at first. I was thinking, what the hell is that about? Then it sort of, I clicked. <laughs> right, I think we're actually going in the uh, online back on the old gym when I was playing this on the 360. I think we're going to the place where the Merryweather jobs are. We have to go and like uh, take those two buzzards from the top of the building down in the dockyards. I think that's where we're going for this bit of the story. Whoop! Oh, I nearly made it. <laughs> oh, oh, nearly, nearly. <laughs> I, I'm alright when I'm looking at this side of the car, I just can't see that half of the car. <laughs> Am I going the right way? Yes. Of course you are, you've got a fucking sat nav more. <laughs> so through here. Oh, we're going. Why? Why would it. Why would I do. Why is it on the fucking street? Bloody stupid thing. I was going to say, as well, I've noticed the amount of traffic, the traffic density has seriously changed. Obviously, it, it actually varies during uh, times of day, which I didn't actually realise. So, like I said, I've not played this very long. But uh, at night, it's like, like you can see at the minute, it's quite quiet. But during the day, it's absolutely heaving. Quite a few accidents do occur. <laughs> I think I was wrong about where I'm going as well. Oh shoot actually going to the main docklands, not to the uh, Merryweather bit in the port. Unless that's for the... Oh, shit. No. Oh, yeah, bloody cargo bombs up in support to Ancudo, isn't it? That's going to be a laugh in first person. Try and tackle that when we get to it. That's why I've chosen the uh, submarine first, thinking it would be a bit easier. Which I'm hoping it will be, but by the looks of it... Because I've forgotten what we're doing. Because I've only done this... I've played, like I said, I've played this back in the day on the... Uh, the 360 when the first when it first got released the story was what I did so coming back to it 
all these all this time later, a few months later. Well, not a few months, pretty much a year, isn't it? But uh, so yeah, let's see what weapons we got. Ah, oh, see, this is why I like Trevor. He's always got weapons with him. Let's have a look. Oh, this is silence. That's good. I do like the fact you can aim two different techniques in this as well. You can either do the whole pre-aim and miss like an absolute twat, or you can sort of half aim. So, it's, so that's sort of like the golden eye view, if you like, back in the day on the, on the N64. Or you can click the stick in and you get the whole Call of Duty perspective, which is what I quite like about it. Even the cover. I thought the cover would be quite tricky, the system in that. But in first person, it actually faces where you want to be. It's, it's hard to explain, but I know what I'm trying to talk about. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in a second when I get onto the uh, cover. I wasn't supposed to kill him. Oh well. Shit happens, innit? Probably should have. Um, I thought there was going to be loads of guards on it. That's why I've shot him. Where am I going? There's green dot. Green dot, green dot. There we go. Switch. Don't know why I shot him. Okay. In the water. Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I nearly hit the water. <laughs> All that bloody ocean, I land on the submarine. Oh dear. So this will be interesting. This is the first time I've seen the first person perspective in the submarine. Oh, okay. Can't see a fucking thing. What is all this shit floating about? Okay, so where am I going? Get to the extraction point, which is Trevor, Floyd, the other side of the airport. We've got that submarine we talked about. You gotta help me store it for a few days. Floyd, oh. don't go quiet on me, or I'll come around and, and I'll. Well, we both know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, all right. The, the bring it around to Pier 400 at the Ooh. Western Docks. On my way. What's this? The Union man doing an honest day's work? There's nothing honest about this, sir. But this is a dishonest day's work, if ever I've seen one. Hey, we're not hurting anyone. No, but no one except whoever owns that submarine and the, and the mercenary foes on the freighter. Do some research on Meriwether Security Consulting, friend. They'd be on trial for human rights offenses if the U.S. government didn't protect all its contractors from any kind of suit, military or civilian. They're immune from prosecution, and they behave like they are. Murdering, stealing, high on power guns and anabolic steroids. <sighs> Lucky bastards. Oh, oh, yeah. this stuff. <laughs> oh, you're right. You don't. Meriwether are employed by the richest, greediest scum on the planet to shit on the poorest and the neediest. So we are going to enjoy shitting on them. Oh, great. I look forward to that. Okay. Well, that's more like it. There we go. I'm trying my best not to talk over the commentary so you can actually hear what's going on. Because I've got to turn the subtitles on. And I don't know what the sound's going to be like on this, so I just went quiet for a little bit. I was thinking during then, because I, I, the whole time they were talking, I can't see what the fuck I'm doing. I, I could be the first person to crash into either the pier or the airport in a submarine. <laughs> but the, the amount of detail in this is actually quite good. It's really good. I don't know what the point of that Kraken submarine is, to be honest. It's just a bigger one-seater submarine. Why would you waste your money on it? It doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, they should have a submarine you can have multiple people in. Or at least even just an extra person. Have something. Oh, what the fuck is this? Don't know. I'm so gonna crash into this pier. Or that Gerda strut, I'm not too sure. <laughs> so I need to go round I go round into here. This must be Pier four hundred, I don't know what I can't see a bloody thing. Just lots of floating shit. I'm either gonna go to the surface in a second or I'm going to smack into the floor. All you can hear is the grind as it hits the bloody seabed. So just thinking, no. <laughs> I was thinking would it be easy with the lights off but it's not. <laughs> oh, 
bolts. That's the surface. Nearly hit the surface there. I have hit the surface. There you go. Yes, sir. I'm on the crane. The surface, and I'll bring you shoreside. All right. Okay. So that was the easy part. Now I've got to get a bloody cargo bolt from Fort Zancudo. Lucky me. <laughs> Drop it off first. Do, 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 do. Is that I'm going to lose the submarine armor. in this view. I can't judge where the back of this trailer is. There. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I, I'm certainly not being short. It, I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you got to be ready for the heat that comes with it. I'm so glad there's no train coming in. On to anything. You threatened and controlled and tricked me. You don't want to cut. Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. Deborah's home. No cut for you. No cut for Deborah. Boop, boop, boop. Right. Will I make this turn? That is the question. Here we go. Waiting for the crunch. Waiting for the crunch. Drive it under it didn't there. happen. Fantastic. <laughs> I missed, oh, missed it, overshot that just a you little bit, there we go there. is it done? oh, <laughs> get out the truck <laughs> you're sure it'll be okay there? um, sure alright, if you're wrong I'll eat your sweet punch him in the face now get out of here let's chase him, come here fucker no, don't punch the submarine Punch this dick. Go on. No, go on. Go on, Trevor, you fucking idiot. Go on. Punch him in the face. No, I want his car. There's no cars left. Get in the fucking car. Get in the car. Get in the car. God damn it. Now being left here with no bloody vehicle. It's all well and good passing the mission, but I can't get out of here now, can I? There we go. That's still one of these three bad boys over here. But they're all shit. See the electric motors? Oh no, there's actually a decent car. How'd you get stuck with that crappy thing? Where's he going? Where's he? Not the fucking 4x4. Get him this. There we go. Right, so let's go to Fort Zancudo. Oh, that's not something you want to say, is it? <laughs> So I've got no grenade launcher, I've got a couple of shotgun shots, I've got a bit of pistol and half a machine gun. <laughs> I'm going to take on an army base. Oh, great. Ooh. Yeah, this first person, I'm really liking this. Ooh. There's been the odd occasion, like in police chases and stuff. Oh, that's what I was going to say, in police chases. I uh, usually, back in the day, I used to have the control settings where the right back and A buttons were handbrake but in this which I didn't realize until halfway through playing it yesterday you can actually if you've got the cops on you I'll show you in third person see what, so you can see what I'm on about when you've got the cops on you you can get down uh, like an alleyway or into a car park and if you hold the A button instead of it being the handbrake you can actually crouch and hide in the car so that cops actually drive past you and have less chance of spotting you which is what I think they should have done in the first place in the uh, previous generation because it was quite hard hiding from the cops in the first place and then not being able to hide in your car whilst hiding from the cops was something that I because watchdogs had it at the time they can you can turn your car off and hide in the car and I was thinking well that would be quite a good addition to put in GTA and now they have but you just can't turn the engine off oh fucking hell <laughs> so, uh, so yeah that's, that's quite a good little addition I quite like that um, yeah so we'll go to down this way three, three miles how is Fort Zancudo three miles away? I'm at the bottom near the beach, for fuck's sake. Don't do it, truck. That's one bloody thing as well. In uh, When you're playing either this uh, story mode or online, there's no bloody indicators on the civilian cars, so they keep turning into you. They're in like, the left-hand lane, and they can only turn left, but they turn right across two fucking lanes and take you out. There's no indicators. 
pisses me off. <laughs> and I should imagine quite a few other people as well. <laughs> oh, I mean, that fucking indicator is in Vice City, for God's sake. And that was on the PS2. But it's like they've lost the uh, capability to just switch their hand down to put an indicator on. Oh, don't do it! Fucking hell. See, I'm making this look professional at the minute, but you can guarantee in a second. I'm going to stack it! Oh. <laughs> could take that. No, it's not it. Saw a little Lambo up the top. I could have got out and taken it, but now that I'm moving, I might as well keep going. Oh, I've just taken the wrong turn. Make that. Yeah, we're good. Ooh. One thing I haven't tried yet is drive a motorbike. That's one thing I want to try. Because I reckon it'd be quite funny. One, to obviously be driving it. Fucking knew that would happen at some point. Yeah, it'd be good to either drive the, drive the motorbike in first person and then to see the animation of falling off. So I've seen it in previous videos on uh, people's channels on YouTube. And uh, I was like, I've got to try that. Just to literally jump on a bike and crash into something. Just to see my character fly. <laughs> so we go up here. If I find a bike on the way, I will be doing that. Regardless if I die. I apologise to Trevor already, but yeah, that will be happening. And I've not jumped off Chiliad yet. That's like the main two things you should do when you first get this in first person. Jump off a motorbike, fall off a motorbike and jump off Chiliad. Preferably both at the same time. Whoa! Fucking hell, fire. Which way am I supposed to be facing? That way, right, okay. Well, I thought three miles would be closer than this. Obviously not. Oh no, that nearly went off the cliff. Oh. No, 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 that's going, that's going. The brakes are on. Oh. If I'm struggling to drive these bloody sport cars in normal, wait until the snow gets released. I'm going to fly up every single bloody road. <laughs> so I'm quite looking forward to that. It would uh, be a good little addition when they add the snow into this. I don't know what days it comes in. I've not heard about anything from it yet. Maybe from the 23rd to the middle of January, uh, sorry, beginning of January I'm not too sure it'd be for a few days anyway, but I won't be one of the people that comes on on Christmas Day, because to be fair I'll have better things to do <laughs> oh I mean, it's good and all they've put, they say they're going to release all these things for people that play GTA on Christmas Day but you got it's, it, you know, there's no time for games on Christmas Day, that's just not not on <laughs> So am I, how am I getting into Port Tank? They're not just going to open the barrier and let Trevor in, are they? Well, okay, granted, he's, a, well, he's already aiming a gun at me, what the fuck? So they didn't actually raise the barrier, but they have opened the gates. So I reckon if I do a run-up, which I probably should have done in the first place, but I didn't realise the gates would be open. I reckon we'll go in the left, the right-hand gate, smash through, steal the cargo bob, without dying. With four stars, holy shit, okay. So now I've just got to find this cargo bob and get the hell out of here. Ooh! <laughs> I've not flown a helicopter in first person yet either, so I might try that. Ooh! Right, we'll turn left here, turn left, the brakes on this are absolutely crap. I do not want to get one chased by a fucking fighter jet and two shot out the sky by a bloody uh, missile fire from the base. One, two, I can't see what I'm doing so that's number three. He'll do. Get in the cargo Bob. Come on Trevor. Get off the car door. Don't fail now. Like I said it's a live stream so I'm not going to edit this out so if I fail I fail. <laughs> like a right amateur. Go, 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 fucking go, go. Lose the military chopper. Fucking military chopper. Oh, we've got a buzzard on us. Oh, no. And I've flown straight at it. Please don't fire myself. Please don't fire myself. I can't see what I'm doing. I can hear them shooting. This is bad. Oh, fuck no. Don't do that to me. Don't fire. Fucking hell, look at the rockets coming at me. 
how am I going to lose this bloody helicopter? There's no way. Ooh. Stop locking onto me, faggot. There's no way this cargo was picking that buzzard. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where have we got to go? Probably Sandy Shores, I'm guessing. Oh, I've lost him. Fantastic. There we go. So it is Sandy. Is it Sandy Shores? Yeah, it is. Awesome. Jeez, yeah, detail. This is amazing. just went into an air base and stole a chopper. Are we ready to go on this thing? If it's a heavy lift chopper, then yeah, I'll get everything ready and I'll call you. All right. Do, 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 do. That's all very well taking off flying this thing but oh I could have got that duck with the blades god damn it how am I gonna land this <laughs> I have to judge I have to tip the nose up I'm so gonna fail this where I've got to land in the yellow marker I can't even see the bloody floor let alone the yellow marker let's guess there is it in oh there we go spot on how close is that awesome that is some skills. <laughs> right, so that's the helicopter. Can I take this one? What's my next thing? Probably the heist, I'm guessing. Put this gun away. Nope. Got a pistol out and put it out. There we go. Right, so jumping. Now I've got the knack for flying helicopters. How hard can it be? <laughs> I need you at the lot in El Bureau Heights for the face to face. Don't be late. Okay, right, okay, back to the end. I can't stand this FBI bloke, he's an absolute knobhead. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you know, it might have to be done. Can I fly? Oh, just, <laughs> it's going to sound really harsh. This is a plane, I'm going to get in the plane and fly, but I might fly my helicopter into that dog. Here we go. Oh, sorry, Fido. Oh, no. Did I fuck the dog up? Oh, it is. Totally sorry, love, but punch. Ow, bitch, hit me back. Okay, Trevor. So it's acceptable because it's Trevor. Any, any other character, it's not acceptable. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I didn't realise this was a uh, time trial. God damn it. I killed that person's dog for no reason. I killed her for no reason as well. That is my bad. What would what, what happen if you fly a pig, in, uh, fly a pig into a titan farm? <laughs> fly a titan into a pig farm. <laughs> I knew what I meant. <laughs> oh, oh, get the duck, get the duck. Oh, I can't see it. I heard the squealing. Wait, so, it looks like we're ready there to is, go with duck, everything. Duck. Floyd don't think it's a good idea for us to meet at the condo, oh. so maybe we should... Tell I went through the helicopter, how bad is that? I was expecting it's blood and feathers, everything. Idea. And tell him we need chips and dip and prostitutes. Oh, so I, oh, okay. So we can do the face-to-face -face with Dickhead from the FBI, or we can do the heist. So I reckon we get back Nobed and go straight to the heist. <laughs> This thing can go faster than this, surely. There's a helicopter right in front of me. See, if I wasn't on a mission, I would fly into that helicopter just to see what would happen. Nah. I thought about it. <laughs> now you see, I successfully landed that Chinook in a desert on an airstrip. You can guarantee this guy is going to be down at the flats near the beach. So I've got to try and land this on the street. 